Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. He collaborated with the actor filmmaker on dozens of features from Coogan's Bluff and Dirty Harry to Million Dollar Baby and J. Edgar. Buddy Von Horn, a stuntman who often doubled for Clint Eastwood and directed the actor in the films Any Which Way You Can, The Deadpool and Pink Cadillac died May 11, his family announced he was 92. Van Horn worked with Eastwood at his Malpaso production on nearly three dozen movies over more than four decades. A charter member of the Stuntman Association of Motion Pictures and member of the Stuntman Hall of Fame, Van Horn began as Eastwood's stunt double on Don Siegel Coogan's Bluff, 1968. They were appeared on the Siegel-helmed films like Two Mules for Sister Sarah, 1970, The Big Will, 1971, and Dirty Harry, 1971 before Eastwood hired him for a film he was also directing, High Plains Drifter, 1973. About Eastwood, he's a pretty physical guy and likes to do his own stunts. Some of the things he does very pretty easy to get banged up. Van Horn said in 2011 in an interview, I've tried to talk him out of it sometimes but not very successfully most of the time. He went and did him anyway. Several of them, he's been banged up a few times. Van Horn served a second unit director on the Eastwood starring Magnum Force 1973 then took the reins Any Which Way You Can 1980, The Deadpool 1988 and Pink Cadillac 1989 the only three movies he ever helmed. In a 1988 interview, Eastwood said he and Van Horn share the same taste in terms of getting the story out there before the camera. Taste is an exclusive kind of thing you really can't explain to someone. It's just there or it isn't. Van Horn also was the stunt coordinator on many Eastwood features, including The Gauntlet 1977, Sudden Impact 1983, Pale Rider 1985, In the Line of Fire 1993, Space Cowboys 2000, Mystic River 2003, Million Dollar Baby 2004, Letters from Iowa Jima 2006, and J. Edgar 2011. His final credit. Van Horn was born on August 20, 1928 on the back lot of Universal Studios, where his father was a veterinarian. He started out in the movies as an extra. Riding horses and turned to the business in the early 1950s after serving two years in Germany with the US Army. Van Horn worked as a stuntman on such films as Prince Whaley in 1954, Lady Godiva of Coventry 1955, Eastwood had a small role in that, and Around the World in 80 Days in 1956. Then doubled for Guy William in 1957-58 on the ABC series Zorro where he demonstrated his fencing and horse riding skills. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates.